Do you remember demos? A time long ago, demos were everywhere. Pre-internet, it was one of the few ways to be in the know about what games were coming out. And you got to try them before you bought them, which is very different to today's world, where when you buy Anthem because it looked cool, then you own Anthem. Sure, the demos are still around today, but it's in a much different form. But before we get too deep into demos, if you don't know what a demo is, you were probably born when I was in high school, or you don't play video games. If that's the case, you're probably not going to enjoy this video, but thanks for the view. You should just go to the end anyways. What else you got going on? Demos are just trial versions of a game. Sometimes they're a vertical slice of the game. Sometimes they're a slightly different beta build of sections of a game. The earliest form of demos that most people remember are probably the PlayStation 1 demo discs that came with a side of Hot Za. I'm talking about the famous... Pizza Hut demo disc. Your parents take you out for a personal pan pizza because you, I don't know, read a book or something. And the kind red hat clad lady behind the counter changed your six year old Kool Aid stained mouth having life by giving you a cardboard square filled with Crash Team Racing and Tony Ox Pro Skater. There were three of these discs in total, with the first one being a part of the Pizza Power giveaway, where if you ordered a pizza, you were given a PlayStation 1 disc featuring four demos and a chance to win $200,000 which was shortly followed up by another similar promotion where they gave away two more demo discs with different games and a chance to win $500,000. Pizza Hut got stacks. Hey man, don't forget to talk about that wild Pizza Hut Crash Bandicoot advertising campaign where they tell you you're supposed to eat stuffed crust backwards. What are you even going on about? Everybody knows you eat stuffed crust the same way you eat normal pizza, so you get that little bonus cheese stick at the end. Why don't you just watch the ad for yourself? That creepy Crash Bandicoot mascot berates people with a megaphone and tells them you're supposed to eat stuffed crust backwards. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Wanna tell me why you were driving backwards, pal? I'm just bringing home some Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizza. The pizza you eat backwards. I'm not in the wrong here, am I? Don't you know that this stuff is filled with backwards messages? Eat Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizza backwards. Where are my keys? Feels really weird. <laughs> Now, 99% of demos don't come with a chance of getting enough money to buy five houses, but that's not why these specific demo discs are so widely remembered. The games on these discs cover some of the greatest games of the original PlayStation catalog. We're talking Final Fantasy VII, Crash Team Racing, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Ape Escape, Crash 3, Metal Gear Solid, Gran Turismo 1 and 2, and Spyro 2, just to name a few of them. I vaguely remember having one of these discs. I wasn't entirely positive, but I used my once a year text to my brother to confirm it was in fact a Pizza Hut demo disc, and that is how I played the Ape Escape demo six to seven thousand times a week. It's also how Ape Escape landed on my top ten favorite PlayStation 1 games of all time, without me ever actually playing the full retail release of the game. I love them little ape dudes though, they're pretty funny looking aren't they? Look at this one over here. Well, funny little guy, huh? These discs were also a great deal for those non-gamer parents, too, because not only did you get out of making dinner for your disgusting, sticky hand-having child, but you got to stuff a pizza slice in their mouth and a controller in their hands to entertain them for the rest of the night so you could, I don't know, do a crossword or watch Jeopardy? I don't know what parents do, man. I'm a child that dresses like a cartoon character and my cooking skills cap out at shells and cheese. What I'm saying is, Pizza Hut takes care of the whole family. Because much like Olive Garden, when you're here, you're family. And family charges you three extra dollars to put cheese in the crust. 
But as we moved into the next generation of consoles, demo discs became even more prevalent, being given away with magazines like PlayStation Underground, PlayStation Magazine, and the official Xbox Magazine. And these later discs came with even more content and 100% less pizza, which is what we adults call a ripoff. Not only did these discs have demos for some of the best upcoming games, but they also had cheat codes, behind the scene extras, making ofs, and trailers. These discs were a goldmine for the kind of content you probably spend hours of your life watching on YouTube if you're watching a video like this. But these discs were the only way to see these kind of videos in the early 2000s, when your TV weighed the same as your refrigerator and buzzed like a bug zapper when you turned it on. I didn't have many interactions with these magazine demos until much later, because I was a Game Informer kid and all we got with our magazines was being scammed into GameStop power-up rewards. But we'll definitely loop back around to magazine demos in a little bit. Around the time of the magazine demo disc rise, individual demo discs and demos being included as extras on full retail released games started to pop up as well. Individual demos like the Resident Evil 4 demo came as a gift for pre-ordering the game. And this disc features an early build of the game before the attaché case inventory existed. That's right. The thing that rewired my brain to self-destruct if proper organization is not achieved almost didn't exist. Some of the most frequent played demos in this era were ones found on other games. The first thing that comes to mind with these is the Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarding demo on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Hey kids, you like skateboarding in the snow? How about snowboarding in the snow? And I did like it. And as you can see, this advertising worked on me 20 years later. Tony Hawk's Underground also came packed with a demo for some motocross game. That advertisement didn't work, because I have no idea what that game is called now. It's not on the back of the case, so I guess we'll never know. It was this game. It had Travis Pastrana in it, so it must have had a budget at least. Code Veronica X came with an entirely second separate disc for the demo of DMC1. And this is where a lot of people first encountered what would be one of Capcom's biggest franchises. These kind of demos were incredible to find. Say you just finished a game for the second or third time, and now you're stumbling through all the menus trying to find any way to get more mileage out of a game. Because you're 10 years old, you don't have any money, and you only get new games as Christmas and birthday presents, and those two things are a month apart, leaving 10 months out of the year dedicated to stretching a game out. And that is my rant about being a November baby. But imagine that scenario. And then while you're stumbling through the menus, you find an infinitely replayable section of a new game, laying another month of track out for the game stretching train. But after that, the next step for demos would quickly change everything, thanks to the power of the internet. When high-speed internet became widely accessible, so did everything that came on demo discs, including demos. During the 360 era, nearly every single game had a downloadable demo for it. And I mean everything. Baby Maker Extreme, I made a game with zombies in it, Avatar Fear. Two out of three of those games are some of the worst games you can find on a digital storefront, while one of them is the greatest twin stick shooter of all time, with a theme song that should have seven Grammy Awards. And they all had demos. I vividly remember playing the Mass Effect 2 demo on loop. I probably put more hours into that demo than I did the actual Mass Effect 2. This was the same case with the Mafia 2 demo, except I played through that whole game like six times. The Mafia games are rad, you should play Mafia. But I played the demo a lot too. But the downloadable options didn't entirely kill demo discs right away. There were still some demo discs around at this time for some reason. I had one from OXM I ended up trading years ago for no pizza and a copy of Red Dead Undead Nightmare. And that's what we adults call ripping off our friend Josh. He should have gotten pizza out of that. I feel bad about it. He didn't care for a dead nightmare. And like every other demo disc I encountered as a kid, this disc got played so many times that everything from the disc art to the exact layout of the menus are stuck in the top of my memory like TV screen burn-in. It always is and always will be there. Even though it made zero sense to have a demo disc when every game on the disc could be downloaded a la carte, the curation is what made the disc so memorable. I would have never downloaded Matt Hazard's Bloodbath and Beyond or MX vs. ATV Reflux, but because they came on this disc with a magazine I got while at the grocery store with my grandma on our weekly Friday shopping trip, I think back on my time playing these demos in the same way I do my time with Halo 3 and Call of Duty Zombies. They were in my frequent early junior high years rotation, 
all because of a magazine disc. But after we got to 2013 with the release of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, demos abruptly disappeared. Since then, demos have been very few and far between. With the last time we really got a memorable demo on the level of the Pizza Hut demo disc that everyone played was P.T. P.T., short for Playable Teaser, was a PlayStation-exclusive demo for Silent Hills, the cancelled Konami reboot of the Silent Hill franchise. This demo was inescapable when it dropped, being the hot YouTube Let's Play game for years that's still frequently talked about to this day. It's also something I never played, because I wouldn't have a PlayStation 4 for a few more years, and after the game was cancelled, the demo was scrubbed from all digital storefronts. But if it were on a disc, it might be a little more accessible, and you wouldn't have to pay thousands of dollars to buy a PlayStation 4 with the game already downloaded on it. Instead, I played the Resident Evil 7 demo that tried to do what PT did, and it did a pretty decent job. Now, it didn't do nearly what PT did, but there was a sizable internet community trying to figure out the mysteries of the game, like the occasional appearing ghosts, or whatever the hell the dummy finger did. But since then, nothing has caught the demo world on fire quite like PT did. Actually, Resident Evil is about the only franchise keeping the demo scene alive now, with a demo for every single game since 7 being released, like the most recently released Chainsaw demo for Resident Evil 4 Remake. Outside of the Resident Evil demos and pre-release betas, the demo is kind of a lost art, along with the demo disc. With the last disc I can recall being made are the demo discs that came with the PSVR 1 that had two separate demo discs depending on how early you bought the peripheral. So here we are, the ninth generation of consoles. Demos are dead, and nothing but a memory. The demo discs have become something of a snapshot of a different time where you can see alternative versions of your favorite games with slight differences from the full versions. I don't know why I decided to chronicle the history of demos. I guess I'm just feeling old and nostalgic these days, especially after the last video I did on Ultimate Spider-Man that was very nostalgia-driven. I guess we can just chalk it all up to a quarter-life crisis. If you have any nostalgic topics you'd like to see me talk about in the future, go ahead and drop those in the comments. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button right above the comments so you can see when I talk about those topics. Or when I buy a convertible. Or when I dye my hair. Or when I die because I'm an old man. That's the joke I'm getting at. <laughs> go play demos. <laughs> Crash is the man. Worship Crash. What? Party of Crash is off. Dude, don't you have locks in this house?